A Plaguelands Media Production. <laughs> hey everyone, this is Hugh from Plaguelands Media bringing you, of course, another playthrough of Final Girl. Uh, you know how much I love this game, and I'm on vacation for about another week or so, so why not? So we're going to pull out the uh, good old Necronomicon here, and let's just do a random setup. We have our Location dice and our monster dice. Okay, in Kenyamba again, but where will we be? In Kenyamba, this time in Creech Manor. I'm just going to go and get that set up and I will be right back. Okay, so here we are all set up for our game in Kenyamba at Creech Manor. Our setup was Strange Trophies, so I am starting in the trophy room. In Kenyamba is starting in the foyer, so basically a bunch of sexy teens have decided to have a party in Creech Manor, not realizing that one of In Kenyamba's masks uh, has been hanging in the trophy room. He gets knocked off the wall, inadvertently summoning Inkan Yamba, who is going to now go around slaughtering some of these so-called sexy teens. I am playing with Alice. Four health, pretty low. Uh, two time, health back. Take a cost two or less action card. Move two spaces, move one space, and then her ultimate. Choose one named action card from the remainder of the game whenever you play that named action card. Always roll five dice regardless of horror levels or any modifiers. For each uh, victim saved, we gain a health back. I also have Alice's signature weapon hidden somewhere in the item decks. I don't know which deck. I don't know where. In the garage, we have the lucky dice. Uh, in the attic, we have a map. And in the closet, we have a knife. So that is where I will be heading first, I think, to go and get that weapon. Okay, first thing we do, of course, shuffle the terror deck. And we shuffle the event stack, and then I draw an event, and we will see what happens. And our event is... <laughs> Helicopter rescue. Place the helicopter token on the roof of the house. Oops, that's upside down. Once during the game, you may move from the attic to the helicopter as though they are adjacent. Any victims uh, or Carolyn with you may be saved. Unless you are saved, unless you have saved Carolyn, you must return to the attic. And the token must be removed. The helicopter is not considered an exit space. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Where can we go? We can move. Alright. Okay. I always like to try and get horror down first. So let's play one focus. One success. Or down by one, lose a time. Let's play our second focus. One success, horror goes down by one, and I lose a time. Alright, that's not bad. Well, let's walk. You know what? I'm going to retcon that. I'm going to ditch my short rest and weak attack to make. That's a success, so horror goes down by one, but we actually gain two time there. And then I'm going to play a walk card for one success. So we lose a time, and we can move one space. I am going to move there, and I'm going to end my turn. So I'll put all our zero cost cards that we used up here. I have six to spend, however. So for two, I'm going to buy Sprint. 
for two. I'm going to get a search card. And for two, I'm going to buy another sprint card. The more movement we have, the better, at least this early in the game. Okay, in Kenyamba, if his Killer Wrath is at one or two, increase it by one. It is at one, so it goes up to two. Uh, then if he's on a space with a victim or the final girl, he will attack, but he is not at the moment. And so we draw our first terror card. Voices. I hear voices. If there are no victims on the board, there are. All victims able to move up to the next floor do so. Okay. Who can move up to the next floor? Okay, they can move up from the attic. Um, no one can move up. They can actually move up to here. I don't want them going in the trophy room. Okay. Horror goes up by one. Uh, what am I talking about? Horror, here. Okay, Horror goes up by one. And then Inkenyamba is going to move towards our victims and attack. Okay, Inkenyamba moves one, two, putting him right in our space. And they are going to kill one victim. <coughs> I'm just going to put the victims in the victim pool, I think. We know they're dead. Okay, next is the panic phase. This victim who is with us just saw her boyfriend get brutally slaughtered by Inkanyamba and panics moving into this room here, leaving me alone with Inkanyamba. Thank you very much. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is sprint. I'm getting the hell out of dodge. One success. So I lose a time and I move up to two spaces. I'm going to move one. Uh... One, two. Okay, playing a walk card, one success, I lose a time to move one space, we're climbing out the window, down here, and I am rescuing these two, I'm going to get two time, and then I'm going to move two spaces, one, two. Um, let's sprint. No successes. I can move up to one space. Yep, I'm going to do that. I move one space and I'll lose one health, lose two time, and that is the end of my turn. Rather selfishly, Alice has climbed out the window with a couple of victims, leaving everyone up on the roof. Now she has to get back there before Inkenyamba kills them. Okay. I get my zero cost cards back. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to pay three to get a distraction. I'm going to pay one. Oh, he killed someone. Bloodlust should have gone up by one. Okay. I pay one to get a close call. So sprint and sprint goes back and I'll get walk back later. Okay. In Kenyamba, what are you going to do? This is at two, so it rises up to three. The Killer Wrath is now at three. He is not in a space with any victims. So we go on to the next tarot card. It's broken. Place the broken ladder token covering the ladder on the board. Okay. 
Nope, that's the broken ladder token. So the ladder on the board here is broken. That ladder may no longer be used, and the spaces connected to it are no longer considered adjacent. So we can't escape through this window um, here. And horror goes up by one. Okay, all right. Well, let's get our horror down while we can. Hopefully. Focus. One success. Horror goes down by one. Loser time. Focus. Ooh, okay. Short rest and weak attack to turn that into a success. Horror goes down by one. Distraction. I'm going to play close call to re-roll this. Success! Oh, so close. Okay, distraction. Horror goes down by one. But we get a time back. Okay, let's walk. We have three dice now. One success. Lose a time. We move into the garage where we are going to search. One success. Which means we can take our lucky dice. Discard to reroll any uh, or all of your dice. Okay, and we'll just stick that in our backpack. Okay, that's the end of our turn. We have no cards left, but we have four to spend. For two, search. For two, sprint. We get our walk card back. And then these all go back to close call, distraction. Okay. And then that goes back up to six. All right, in Kenyamba, doesn't rise. He's not in a space with a victim. So we just draw the terror card. He's coming and there's nothing we can do. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next terror card. There are, otherwise horror goes up by one. He moves towards the nearest victim and attacks. Okay, the nearest victim that he can move towards, he moves two. Go one, two. Uh, one, two, three. So he's going to move one, two. And he is going to kill that victim, pushing his bloodlust up by one. Okay, well. Let's search, see if we can find a weapon in the garage. We only get two dice now. One success. Lose a time. And take the top item, which is a trash can lid. We can ignore a damage. All right. Put that in my hand. Um, well, let's sprint. No successes. Um, I'll move, lose a health, lose two time, and end my turn. Three time left. One, two, three. We get a distraction card. They are always, always, always good to have, and we get back all of our zero cost. I have a feeling Inkanyamba is going on a murderous rampage in a moment. Okay, he's not in a space with a victim. Or the final girl. Boiling Anger, one string upkeep, make a horror roll, no effect, increase it. Okay. So uh, we're starting to piss him off a bit, but he still hasn't moved. I have to get to the top of the manor, however. Not before I get his focus down. Well, he's, uh... ooh, two successes. 
Terry goes down and we get two time. Nice. Let's see if we can't repeat that. Two successes. Horror goes down by one. We get two time. Okay. We are sitting at ten time. I'm happy with that. Um, you know what? Why not? Just for shits and giggles. Let's play distraction again. Two successes. Horror goes down by two, giving us two more time. And we get two time. We can't get any more time. That was a dumb, dumb, dumb thing to do, but I don't care. I loved it. Short rest. One success. We lose a time, but we get back a health. Let's go for a walk. That was a drop dice. Not counting it. One success. We lose a time. We move one space into the foyer. And let's play another walk. Okay. Two successes, so we can move two spaces. One, two. But we lose a time. And we will keep our weak attack card. Okay. Nine to spend. Two to buy a sprint. Two to buy a search card. Five left. Uh, let's spend four to get Furious Strike and one to get a close call. Okay. Zero. Distraction zero zero. All right. This goes back up to six. In can Yamba. I'm gunning for you, buddy. Okay, nothing happens because he's not in a space with a victim or with the final girl. And our tarot card is... Make a horror roll. Okay. Okay, we didn't get that, we didn't get that. We got this one. Unleash... Um... Unleash Killerath, then roll a die, increase Killerath by the number rolled. At the moment, Killerath is at three, so we raise our horror by one. And Killerath goes up to six. In Kanyamba is going to move towards the nearest victim and attack. In Kanyamba, nearest victim is of course hiding in the closet. He brutally slaughters another one, putting his bloodlust up and revealing his dark power. Um, whenever it increases, horror goes up, rising dread. Okay. Uh, once you're in the upkeep, make a horror roll. No effect. So we should have done that um, earlier. Wouldn't have had an effect. That's okay. Um, this victim panics. Five, running out of the closet. Three to six runs out of the closet. And now in our upkeep we have to roll for boiling anger. So the uh, Killerath increases. And I believe it is now our turn. I was going to go into the closet to search. But instead, I'm going to sprint. Three dice. Okay, I'm going to discard my lucky die to re-roll these two. Okay, three successes. Lose a time, we move up to three spaces. One, two, three, coming into the attic. I'm going to search the attic. Okay, what do I have here? 
I'm going to spend two time to re-roll all of these dice. Okay, we can take the top two cards of the item deck. I believe I lose a time for that. Yes, indeed. Down to two. Oh, yes. We can take the shotgun. The shotgun cannot modify an action card. Once per turn, you may discard two cards from your hand and roll six die. Deal damage to each enemy in your space for each star rolled. If at least half of the dice are blank, discard the shotgun. Okay. Yes, indeed. I'm taking the shotgun. I'm going to put the map on the bottom of the item deck. I am gunning for Inkanyamba now. Okay, I'm going to put the trash can lid in my backpack because the shotgun requires two hands. Okay, Alice is mega pissed now. We're going to end it there for this turn. I have two to spend. I'm going to buy a guard card. Or should I get a sprint? Yeah, let's do a hit and run. Let's buy a sprint. Okay. That costs two. You go back up. It's going to be on like Donkey Kong in a minute. We get back our six zero costers. Two, three, four, five. Oh, we have weak attack in our hand. Right, right, right. Okay. In Kenyamba. Not in any space. So we just do a terror card. Make a horror roll. Fickle temper. Four. Unleash. Um, Killer Ath. Okay, so he heals a wound, but he hasn't taken any. He moves towards the nearest victims. One, two, three. Uh, and then he attacks, killing another one, raising his bloodlust up by one. Okay, because um, and we increase this by one. Because we increase this, whenever that increases, horror goes up. That's fine. He's going to kill another victim. Bloodlust goes up. So basically, what's happened here is that he's found we're all hiding in the uh, in the attic, and he comes racing up to get us, and he just goes crazy on the people in the attic. First thing I'm going to do is play a focus. Okay. Short rest and uh, walk, I think. Walk. Uh, you know what? Walk and focus to change that to a success to lower horror and lose a time. I think that's fine. Okay, let's go after Inkanyamba, shall we? We're going to start with the shotgun. Okay, we have to discard two cards to use it. Short rest. And weak attack. So we're going to roll six dice. And roll six dice. For every star rolled, he takes a damage. One, two, three. We just shot Inkanyamba for three. Uh, three damage and you know what um, once per turn okay once per turn we are going to play our sprint One success, so we lose two time. Now, I am going to 
use the helicopter rescue here. You may move from the attic to the helicopter as though they are adjacent. Any victims may be saved. I am going to go... I can move two. So I'm going to move one, put them on the helicopter, and move back into the attic. I'm going to move one space, getting down here, and take a cost two or less action card. I'm going to take a sprint. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to walk uh, two spaces, one, two, and I lose a time, and that is where we are going to end this turn. Three, two, use. I'm going to buy distraction. It's going to cost me three. Okay, in Kenyamba, you didn't expect me to have a shotgun, did you, you bastard? Okay, he's not in a space. Oh, the helicopter goes away. He's not in a space with any victims. Uh, so we just draw the terror card. Unleash. Okay, he's going to heal. Horror goes up by one. He's going to move towards the victims and the final girl. One, two, three. He's going to attack, killing that victim and pushing his bloodlust up by one. Okay, increase. Uh, whoops, these all go away. Let me just put these back. Walk, sprint, short rest, short rest, walk, focus. Okay. Uh, Increase Killer Wrath, equal to the number of action cards in hand. It goes up to 10. And now he is going to attack me, doing 2 damage, putting me down to 1 health. Okay, that's the way you want to play it, Inky. That's fine. Okay. Well, I'm going to play Distraction. I roll three dice, two here and one because I'm on my last health. One success, horror goes down by one and we gain time. Next, I'm going to Shotgun in Kenyamba. Oh, I can't. I have to discard two cards. So let's do a Furious Strike here. I have three dice plus one. One success deals him one damage, uh, lowers horror, and that is the end of my turn. I think this is the end of the final girl. I should have used the shotgun. What would have happened if I had used the shotgun? One, two, three, again, he would have been hit for three. But I didn't, because I needed the cards. Okay, Inkenyamba is going to attack me, doing two damage. Do I get any health back? I get two hearts back. So that is one. And... Come here, come here. Oh, I didn't spend my seven. One and one. I didn't spend my seven times, so I'm gonna quickly do that now. Um. You know, I would have bought that and a close call. I would not have bought uh, the retaliate card. I know what I'm like. I know how I play. So, furious strike, and then we get back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Alright, so I have two health left. We have a terror card to draw, however. This could be the end. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next terror card. Unleash. He's going to heal two. Horror goes up. 
He's going to attack me for 2 damage, taking away my last health. And that is the end of the final girl. Now, I know um, I should have taken off health from Boiling Anger first. That was a mistake on my part. And I know a lot of you are like, you should have taken the Retaliate card. You should have taken the Guard card. I uh, play really stupidly when I play this game, so I know I would not have done that. However, you know, I was retconning the turn a little bit, not doing it in the correct order, so I understand. That might piss some of you off, but Inkenyamba, once again, has proven too much for the sexy teens in Creech Manor. Alice, sadly, massacred. She couldn't even jump out of the window. She kind of trapped herself. Um, one of the things I love about um, Creech Manor is just the way that it's that it's laid out. Like if I bring the board closer, you can see that you know the, there's arrows here that you can't go up, so it, it kind of funnels you in certain directions and makes the game a lot more challenging, in my opinion. Sadly, Alice's body was never recovered. But they did find her hair um, on a toupee in a mental hospital. So there is that. Okay, this is Final Girl. Hope you enjoyed the video. Absolutely love this game. As usual, leave a comment on any mistakes I made. And I did make some. I, I know I did. Um, comment on um, what you liked, what you didn't like. If you want to see me do any matchups in the future, let me know. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on PlayGlandsMedia.com. Follow us on Amazon. You can find some of our books in the uh, Kindle store. Other than that, stay safe. See you in the next video.